so yeah uh, hello everyone uh, so today uh, we're gonna discuss um, a problem a code versus problem uh, from round 5 and 5 it's a div 3 problem problem b heaters so the problem is simple problem statement simply says that um, there's an array and the array has elements zeros and ones ones representing heaters um, and every heater has a range that means it can actually you know cover r minus one blocks to the left and r minus one blocks to the right therefore total of two r minus one blocks that any heater can provide heat to uh, what we are required to do is we need to basically find uh, the minimum number of heaters that need to that you know needed to be switched on such that all the array indexes right from zero in the zeroth index till the n minus one th index get you know the required heat okay so uh, how we can actually you know approach this problem uh, the problem is you know quite simple what we can actually do is you know if corresponding to every index of the array we have you know the number of uh, contenders the number of you know heaters that can actually provide the heat uh, at that particular index if we have you know any such kind of an array what we can do is corresponding to every heater in its heating range you know let's suppose there's a heater at a double of i you know we can actually you know iterate in its heating range and its heating range would actually be from um, i minus r plus 1 till i plus r minus 1 so this entire heating range uh, of 2 r minus 1 blocks you know if you know we have you know those contender array and if you know in in this entire heating range um, any of the you know contender value is you know less than or equals to 1 what would that signify that would simply signify uh, that you know um, that it is you know necessary to include this particular heater because you know if we don't include this heater uh, then basically you know there would be no such you know solution possible because there is at least one block that has basically you know its count uh, less than or equals to one i hope you know that is self-explanatory because uh contender of i basically represents the number of heaters that are capable of producing heat at that particular you know index so if it is that if it is basically you know equal equals to one that simply means that we need to include this you know heater so we need to include uh, this heater and then we actually you know increase our uh, ants count by one and if we you know find that none of the indexes basically in this contender array has its you know count equal equals to one uh, then we'll you know simply ignore this heater and you know reduce its contention in its heating range that would simply mean that you know in its entire heating range now we'll you know reduce the contender count by minus one uh, you know of course before that we need to check if any of the you know contention basically vector has uh, you know any of the contention vector uh, index i basically has a value zero that signifies that there is at least one you know index uh, at which you know none of the heaters can supply heat to so you know then your answer is not possible and then simply it means that we need to simply see out minus one so we'll you know quickly jump onto the solution because you know the approach is you know quite simple as already discussed so here you know v represents the input uh, array a double r basically uh, sorry v re simply simply represents the contention array and a double r represents the input array uh, what we'll actually do is we'll take the input and put you know a double r of i equals to k in the input array and if you know k is equal equals to one we'll simply you know making the contentions that is basically you know if a double r of i equal equals to one that means that there's a heater at position i then you know in its entire heating range as i already told you from min of n minus one sorry from basically max of this would actually represents the you know first index um, uh, from basically in a, uh, first index of its heating range that is basically max of zero comma i minus r plus one till basically n minus one comma i plus r minus one minimum of this you know in this entire you know range we'll actually you know increase the contention by one that would simply mean that yes you know there is a heater that can supply heat to all these indexes so once we have this you know v vector ready after this you know completing the loop we'll have this uh, you know uh, v vector ready and what would v vector you know simply represent the contention vector that is you know every index i of this v would represent the number of you know heaters that are possible uh, you know to supply heat at that particular index so if you know this is you know just a check to you know you know confirm that if you know any of the uh, v of i is equal equal to zero if you know if there is even one index possible uh, where you know none of the heaters can supply heat to then you know the answer is false so we'll you know make flag equals to false otherwise what we'll do is we'll have our ants we need to calculate the minimum number of heaters that we you know uh, we require so what we'll do is we'll you know rather than iterating in each and every index and checking basically which heater to you know switch on what we'll do is we'll you know think in a reverse fashion we'll you know uh, in a way 
corresponding to every heater we'll check if a double r of i equal equals to one that is basically input was one that means that yes there was a heater at that particular index so in its heating range we'll check you know whether it is you know useful for us to in include that heater or not if you know and how we'll you know simply do that as i already you know discussed in the approach uh, from its again you know heating range that is basically from max of this till min of this we'll check if you know any of the you know any of the uh, index of this contention vector v has its value less than or equals to one that means that yes we need to include this so we'll basically make flag one equals to true otherwise you know let it let it be basically um, uh, you know we'll ignore it so if flag one is equals to true that means that we'll gonna include include it and then you know simply ans plus plus otherwise if i'm not including it then you know then it's quite simple we need to you know reduce uh, reduce its contention for the future heaters so what we'll do is again you know in its heating range we'll reduce the count by minus minus or minus one and so if flag was you know true you know it was you know this flag that means basically you know we found none of the contention vector initially to be zero that means yes there was a solution possible so if flag is equal to true we'll simply see out answer otherwise we'll, you know we'll see out minus one so it was a simple yet you know uh, i would say you know somewhat trickier problem you know because many you know approaches might you know uh, strike you initially so yeah uh, that you know brings us to the end of this video and i hope you know you like this video yeah thank you